Hey everyone, John here. Welcome to another episode of Grubmasters. Today, we're gonna to go through the ring method of Dutch oven coal management. You know, almost every time when we're cooking with Dutch ovens on the show, we always talk about using the ring method for coal management. And I wanted to take some time out to really go through this slowly with everybody. We go through it each time briefly, um, but I thought it warranted its own episode. Now, what you can do with coals with a Dutch oven is you could count your coals. You could do a checkerboard pattern. You could do this pattern, that pattern. I like one pattern in particular. It's called the ring method. Now, typically everybody's gonna tell you that one briquette, one standard Kings for blue. Um, I have one here. Don't worry, this isn't hot. I spray painted these white just for representative purposes. Um, it kind of looks like an ashed over coal, doesn't it? Well. Each one of these is supposed to represent about 15 degrees when it's like this, when it's hot and whole, okay? Now 15 degrees, if you wanna do 350, that's however many coals. It's, I don't know, it's probably about 24 coals for a 12 inch Dutch oven. Now, that's a lot of math. Monday through Friday, I do enough math. I don't wanna do it on the weekends when I'm out with my friends. So again, I like to use the ring method. And what that is, is you take the diameter of your Dutch oven and you just stack your coals such that they're kind of touching or you know they're very closely spaced together and you go around the diameter of your dutch oven now on this eight inch dutch oven that i have here it's gonna be roughly 11 coals okay and it just kind of works out now that's also the rule of threes the rule of threes says whatever the diameter of your dutch oven is you're going to take that and you're gonna add three coals for the top and you're gonna subtract three coals for the bottom. So in the case of a Dutch oven, that's eight inches wide, or in diameter rather, you're gonna get 11 coals on top and five coals on the bottom. Now, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. 10. So I'm one whole coal short, but again, no math was done, all right? These fit kind of snugly and it's good. Now, if I take this Dutch oven, and I flip it over. The bottom diameter is smaller, it's tapered. The Dutch oven's tapered. So if I take my same number of coals, two, four, six. Now, six fits comfortably on the bottom. And again, they're close to the edge and so it's close to the side of the Dutch oven. And so the heat's gonna, of course, pick up on the bottom. And it's gonna, you know, kind of wrap the envelope of that cast iron right around the sides and up the sides towards the top. Now, six, not quite the rule of threes. So I should have had five. I'm here to tell you, probably close enough, especially if you're doing something liquidy, um, like a soup or a stew, anything, you know, that's got liquid in it's very forgiving. If you're baking, well, maybe you just go one coal lighter. It's not a big deal. But again, as a rule of thumb, as a guideline, the diameter of your Dutch oven, however many coals fit, it's probably gonna get you about 350. Now, as your coals burn down, you're gonna go from a coal that's this size to a coal that's like this size, especially if you start knocking off the ash, all right? Well, guess what? I'm here to tell you that as you replenish your coals, it's gonna take a lot more of those to fill this all the way around. So again, you know, do I count this as a quarter of a coal? Do I count it as a half a coal? Well, in my line of thinking, I'm gonna supply some fresh ones right next to it. And then maybe I have another small one next to that one. I just try to maintain a ring of coals around the circumference. Now, of course, I'm not gonna let them all burn down to almost nothing because that's not gonna be very helpful. And if you stay on it and you have fresh coals there most of the time, you're gonna have typically six coals for an eight inch Dutch oven. Now, I did, uh, I did, some photos before where I had a 12 inch, a 10 inch, and the eight inch. And you'll see that it's pretty darn close to the rule of three. Now it's not exact, but it's close enough and you don't have to do all the math, all right? So you're outside, you're having a good time. You don't wanna be ticking and tying. Now, what I'm gonna do is I wanna put this to the test by actually firing up some real coals and I have some potatoes that I've kind of surgically altered so that I could fit the probe of my fireboard thermometers in there 
and I'm gonna fire up two Dutch ovens. I think I'm gonna do the eight and I'm gonna do the 12. I'm gonna use the ring method. I'm gonna let them cook for about a half hour. We're gonna take a look at the, the graph. Let's see how good that graph maintains at 325 once it gets going and the potatoes in there with the thermometer held about an inch off the bottom. Poles are nice and hot. Let's get started. I've got the eight inch and the 12 inch. I've got my potatoes with the uh, probes jerry rigged through. Let's get started. I'll throw a ring on the eight. I'm gonna ring on the 12. Again, these have actually burned down a little bit more than I would have liked. I was kind of fooling around with those temperature probes for a little while. But again, it should illustrate the fact that even though they've burned down, and this is probably gonna take twice as many coals because you know they're much smaller, it should still maintain that same temperature. All right, so I got a nice ring there. So I've got a ring here roughly the size of the bottom of the eight inch. Get that to lay nice and flat. So again, this is just rough, just eyeballing it, roughly the size of my uh, 12 inch bottom diameter. Get this guy on. And let's get potato number one in. And I'm putting that probe right in the middle of that diameter. So the tip is right in the center. And the same thing with the eight. The eight's much smaller. That might be a little bit more of a trick, but we're gonna do our best. All right, I'm gonna replenish my coals and let's check it back in in about 15 minutes or so and check out how that graph's doing. There you have it. They're within about 20 degrees of each other. The 12 inch is just a little bit lighter. I think I've got a couple extra coals on the eight inch uh, Dutch oven. The eight inch is at 358 right now and the 12 inch is at 318. I'm gonna let these go, check out the graphs, and uh, get out there and cook.